What, uh, what did you learn growing up? How was your childhood different from uh, someone who didn't necessarily grow up in a baseball family the way you did? Well, like I always say, I never saw my dad play because uh, he retired in the 90s. Okay. And I was born in 87, but after he retired, he always was in baseball, in baseball activity. You know, he was a coach really, really, really quick. It was, it was only one year off. And then he turned us a coach in 91, so <clears throat> I was every uh, every summer, every summer and every summer when the school was over, I was flying with him for the two months and spend time with him. Doesn't matter where we was, uh, low A, high A, double A, triple A, I was a bad boy, even five, six years old. So it was kind of fun. Uh, like you say, I grew up in a baseball field. I've, I've seen, uh, I saw a lot of big big players that they, how they started in the minor leagues like Lance Bergman I saw him when when he signed on Houston and now he got some numbers for the Hall of Famer and I saw a lot of a lot of players a lot of players that I was the bad boy for that team and and it was a bless it was a bless is there a player you saw when you were growing up who you sort of compare yourself to someone you try to emulate no no I just try to be me try to be me uh, you know sometimes us as a player, we try to, to copy uh, one of the big names uh, like Abra, like Jeter, players like that, like that. But I always follow I always follow Abra when, when I was when I was little. Uh, but now that I turn as a professional baseball, I, I just try to be me and and, and and show the people that the talent that I got. Uh, those people are different. I'm different, so. I just tried to be me. Uh, as a player who has seen considerable time in the majors, um, your experience here at this level, what are your what are your motivations in terms of, of trying to get back to the to the bigs? What what is having been there already? How does that change the experience here now? It's just uh, confidence, you know, confidence. Uh, having uh, this this is going to be my sixth year here in AAA, uh, and. Being up and down with the Dodgers and a little bit of Boston in the big leagues, uh, it's just a little bit of experience, and and I gotta give credit to to winter ball. Winter ball helps me a lot just to keep in shape, just uh, learn more stuff here over there with veterans guys that been in the big league for a while, and work with them and, and mentally and, and all the stuff. It's not because baseball is not physical. It fix I'm uh, physically, you can be ready, including you. You can work out for six months, for five months, hard in the gym, and you can play baseball. But baseball is not easy. Baseball is 90% mentally and all it's but 10% is physically. So uh, being here around and being around when I was a uh, child and with my dad talking to me a little bit and being around with those uh, big names and big players that I was, it helped me to come a little bit here, but it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different when you turn, when you cross that bridge and you're not a bad boy. You're not a you're not a son of a player. Now you're a professional player, so you got to do the right things and the right and the right stuff to go up and, and maintain your and stay in the big leagues. What's the biggest difference you think between the the level of play? What what are the specific things that you see in the majors that you just don't see here at this level? There's nothing different. They they just uh, the game. The game is uh, they slow the game. Uh, they know what they, they know what to do. They study the players. Our, me as a position player, we study the pitchers, and over there the pitchers study the position players. So the game is oh, the game in, in every league, but more, more in the big leagues is all about adjustments. If you don't make adjustment, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to to continue playing that league and continue to stay there where you want to stay. But uh, if you make adjustments, the pitchers are going to make adjustments. So basically, baseball is everything adjustment, and life's too making adjustments. So. It's it's not easy. It's not easy to uh, to to hit a hundred a hundred mile per hour fastball. But if you make adjustment and you and you learn and you teach, it's kind of like going to school. You just come early, do your work on the cage, do your work on the field, work hard every day, and, and study. Do you have a favorite place to play when you're in the majors? Favorite stadium? Favorite stadium? Uh, well, to play to play it around, I would not say not the fans because the fans they don't they don't want. Uh, they don't go too much to the game, but my favorite place to play baseball was uh, Diamondbacks, Arizona. Okay. It's a really nice field. Uh, as a hitter, you see the ball really nice. Uh, it's a really nice uh, hitting field. But to play baseball with the fans, nice field, nice stadium.
nice crowd, everything. Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium. Every okay. every game is like forty five thousand people, fifty thousand people. Just depends the series. Uh, I was I was lucky uh, when I got the opening day, two thousand eleven. I got to San Francisco, and the Dodgers opening day. So that was that was crazy. That was crazy, and and it's fun. It's fun. But for me, to play baseball, Arizona Diamondbacks. But to be around and just to watch how they play baseball and the crowd go crazy, Dodger Stadium is one of those things. And so you're having a, a really good season uh, this season. Do you, are you are you watching the the wires? Are you watching what the you know the player transactions or any of the you know, injury reports, anything like that? Do you keep an eye nah, on that? Nah, at AAA? I, don't watch, I don't watch that. I used to watch it, but I'm being honest, I don't watch that anymore. Uh, it, it will get to your mind when you when you follow those people over there. But I just I'm here right now, concentrating on my job, concentrating on my thing, and yeah. and God has everything under control. So I just gotta keep doing it, keep grinding, and see what happens. Do you watch your numbers? I mean, you're batting well over yeah, 300, having see, a good season. I don't season. see nothing. I don't see nothing. I know when you when you're doing wrong, you got to work out. When you're doing good, you're do, you know you're doing good. So, I just keep grounded. I just come here every day, work hard, uh, do my thing that I got to do for get ready for the game. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank I really appreciate your time. Good luck. Thank you.